Welcome back, folks, for another fun reloading video. Today's topic is going to be how I shoot 9mm for under 6 cents per round in 2021. Some of you veteran casters and loaders probably know all of this information, so today's video is going to be directed more towards the new shooters, the new reloaders, everybody that's just gotten into this lately during the pandemic and shortages and everything. We'll start off with a quick breakdown on our cost per round by component. So I have this awesome app here on my phone called Reloading Assistant. It has both a reloading calculator and reloading data in it for free. I believe there is an ad-free version that you can pay or subscribe to, but since you're watching this video on how to make cheap bullets, you can tell which version I have. This is our reloading calculator. You can see I don't have anything entered for bullets, and I don't have anything entered for cases. That's because I get them both for free. This is how we're able to reduce our bullet price to zero. There's several guides on how to get your lead for free, so this video is not going to be that. But here's a bunch of range scrap I was able to dig up from around the steel targets. There's lots of mulch and some gravel in there, but all that'll float to the top whenever I go to make ingots with it. So even in worst case scenario where this 30 pound bucket of crap turns into 20 pounds of useful lead, I'm still going to be able to make over a thousand pistol bullets for my 9mm. So here we have the beloved small pistol primer. I actually did purchase these in 2021, however I'm still using several that I've got in years past to kind of help ease the situation we're in right now. And because I don't actually have to buy new primers, I can wait to buy them at a normal market price rather than hitting up Gunbroker and paying $100 to $400 a brick. How I came up with the cost of $41 per thousand, you can see here on January 7th, 2001, I have a confirmed order which I have picked up from Bass Pro Shops in Nashville for only $36.99. So if we were to take our $36.99 brick of a thousand and break that down per primer, we're at roughly 4.1 cents per primer once we add in our local taxes. If you're unaware, when you order from Bass Pro, you can get free hazmat and shipping if you pick it up at the store nearest you. Moving along to the cost of powder, here you can see we have 700x for only $23.99. I was able to grab a couple pounds of this locally and they had it for $22.99 plus tax. So if we just use the rounded number of $25 a pound, we can do some math here. Our pound of powder costs $25. There are 7,000 grains per pound of powder. We're paying a third of a cent per grain of powder. If our charge weight from a specific powder is three grains per shot, we're looking at one cent per round. If a charge weight for a specific powder is six grains per shot, our cost is roughly two cents per shot. For this reason, I have chosen a fast burning powder such as 700X, maybe clays or tight group, because these all use roughly three grains per shot. We can get away with slower burning powders in 9mm, however you're looking at 5 to 6 grains per shot with powders such as Long Shot, Winchester 572, and other slow burning powders like that. Here's a few examples of some load data from Hodgson's website. We have a starting charge of 3 grains, a max charge of 3.6 with 700x. That's going to be roughly 1 cent per round, where you can see long shot is 5.7 grains per shot if you're using the maximum charge, putting that near 2 cents per shot. Here we have a burn rate chart I was able to pull up on Google real quick. It's not 100% accurate, but it had the most entries of all the powders I could find, so it'll give us the broadest range of stuff that we can look at. I looked at some Hodgdon data and just scribbled down some numbers of their charges. And you can see the stuff in green is roughly a 3 to 3.9 grain charge. The stuff in yellow is a 4 to 4.9 grain charge. And anything in red is over 5 grains, where your cost has now doubled. And in all honesty, in these times, if you can find a pound of powder for 25 bucks and it's anywhere in this burn range, you should just grab that because you're going to be able to use it 
and for one to two cents per shot, that's all you're going to be paying for your powder. If you're able to find an eight pound jug where it's $20 a pound, and you have something like tight group where you're using three grains, you're going to get, what, 12,000 shots out of that for less than a penny per shot? Those were just some hypothetical numbers. Here's my actual charge with $25 a pound of 700x and a 3.4 grain charge. I'm just over a penny per shot. After we check our price of powder, we can look at the cost of cases, and that is also zero. Unless you're a brand new reloader and you have zero brass on hand, pistol brass is free. This is certainly the case for popular rounds such as 9mm, 40 Smith & Wesson, 45 ACP. I've also seen lots of 357 SIG, 10mm, lots of other pistol cartridges laying on the ground that you can pick up for free. Here's a 5 gallon bucket I've almost filled with 9mm in 2021 alone. In my how to grow your stockpile videos, I always mention picking up brass every time you go to the range. Now, always make sure that it's okay at your range. My range specifically says you can pick up whatever you want to pick up as long as it doesn't belong to someone else, so ask them first. And as long as it's not in the range's buckets that they ask people to put their brass in once they're done shooting. So whenever I go to the range, I bring my own bucket that doesn't look anything like theirs. So once I'm done shooting, I can crawl around on my knees like I drop my contacts in a mosh pit and fill my own bucket up. So I've got some other calculations here, but once again, we can see my cost per thousand is only roughly $55 when I collect my own lead and I collect my own brass. Now let's pretend you've already been reloading, but you don't cast your own lead yet, nor can you collect your own lead, so maybe you can only shoot at an indoor range where you're not allowed to collect from the berm. For my 125 grain load, it costs roughly three cents per bullet if you're buying your own lead. So if you have to buy your own lead, eBay has always been a good source. You can get maybe a 60 pound box for $100 sent to you. Sometimes it's anywhere from $1.50 to $5 a pound, depending on how much you buy. But a constant source that's always available for everybody is going to be RMR bullets. They actually sell the lead cores that they don't end up putting into their bullets. And you can see here that you can get 24 pounds for $39, and they offer free shipping as well. Here I've got some more of my hillbilly public school math written down for you. We can see that if we're paying $39 for 24 pounds of lead, we're paying $1.63 per pound. And if there's 7,000 grains per pound and we have 24 pounds, we're getting 168,000 grains worth of lead. If we're casting our bullets and they weigh 125 grains, we're going to end up with roughly 1,344 bullets. So finally, if we're paying $39 for 1,344 9mm projectiles, we're paying roughly 2.9 cents per shot. So here we are back. If we buy our lead, we're going to add almost three cents per shot, and we're up to $84 per thousand, which is still a great price in today's market. If we're not into casting quite yet, we can always buy plated bullets when they're available, and Berries is a great option. There's plenty of other companies, but straight off of Berries' website, if we get a thousand of their 124 grain round nose projectiles, it costs $108 with free shipping. So that will put our plated projectile cost at roughly 10.8 cents per shot. And let's pretend you're also a new reloader, so you had to buy your brass. If we do a simple Google search, you'll find all kinds of options, most of which are not in stock. But if you do find something in stock, you're going to be paying either 12 cents per casing or maybe as low as 5 or 6 cents, depending on how much you want to buy. For simplicity's sake, I rounded it to 10 cents per shot. If we're now paying 10 cents per piece of brass and 10 cents for a plated projectile, that's going to bring our cost per thousand up to $263. Lastly, if you're in the worst case scenario today, you're paying 10 to 15 cents for your full metal jacket or even a plated projectile, you're paying 10 to 30 cents per primer, you're paying almost 5 cents for your powder charge, and now you're paying 10 cents for your casing as well, that's going to bring your cost per thousand up to $392. Again, this number could be even worse if you're paying $50 a pound, 
and it's slow burning, and you could be as much as 30 cents per primer. Now, please remember none of these prices take into consideration the cost of the reloading or casting equipment, but we can see if we're paying this much per thousand versus this much per thousand, we're gonna be able to recoup our cost that much faster. So this video isn't a brag or a boast, it's simply to give you guys some information if you're new at this. There's your information and this is how I'm able to shoot 9mm for under 6 cents per shot. So thank you very much if you've made it this far through the video. I really appreciate you hanging out. Consider subscribing to my channel if you like this kind of content. There's always going to be more coming on the way. Thanks again for watching folks. We'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.